Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. This is actually the first part of a new series I'm starting on the channel, which is tiny houses based on the zodiac signs. This has been a long requested thing on my channel and I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, I was always a little bit intimidated by this idea because I'm not somebody that's super duper into uh, astrology and zodiac signs. And I've never really related to my own, but I thought that these could be a really fun way to get a variety of homes and different personalities. So I decided because so many of you wanted to see this and it could be a really good spot to get some inspiration that I would go ahead and dive into it. So we are starting here with the sign of Virgo as we are currently in that time frame. I think I'm going to be doing these throughout the year, like once a month that uh, coincide when those particular signs are active. So Virgo is the sixth astrological sign in the zodiac falling between August 23rd and September 22nd. And I'm going to read you some information that I found on various websites about Virgos and also tell you a little bit about why I made the decisions that I did make for this particular home. So Virgo is an earth sign historically represented by the goddess of wheat in agriculture, which is an association that speaks to Virgo's deep-rooted presence in the material world. And they tend to be logical, practical, and systematic in their approach to life. Uh, this earth sign is a perfectionist at heart and isn't an afraid to improve their skills through diligent and consistent practice. Uh, they also rule the digestive system, which makes these earth signs especially attuned to ingredients that make up a whole in food and everything else, and they're hyper aware of every detail. I also read that Virgos tend to be in love with books and artistic expression and end up being good with working with their minds and their hands. So based on all of that information, I did decide that we were going to make a little cottage here in the world of Henford on Bagley, which of course comes with the Cottage Living Expansion Pack, and have them sort of live off the land, be very... Um, conscious of what foods they are eating and making and also I was thinking they were very in tune with nature and enjoyed spending time with the animals here. Uh, they love reading so they have some books in their space but also because they like working with their mind and hands uh, they you know work on their little farmland as well as they have a career as being a writer. So that is kind of what I came up with for this sign. This is the first one. I don't expect it to be 100% accurate, and I don't think any of these will be somewhat like my state series that I do, where it's based off of the information I find and examples I find. It's just supposed to be a little bit of fun, but of course, if there is a zodiac sign you want to make sure I include something for, please leave that in the comments down below as I will be continuing this series month by month, going through all of the zodiac signs. I believe that it's the next one, Libra. I know nothing about Libras. So if you have any details on that, do let me know uh, because that would be super helpful. Anyway, uh, right now I'm just trying to decorate the outside. I wanted to get lots of sunflowers. I thought that they were pretty. I was going with a lot of the colors that I was reading about which tended to be very earthy colors. <laughs> so that was definitely the vibe here. And I thought the yellow was a nice like pop of color on the exterior of this particular home. I'm actually gonna pull up somewhere here. I have like a list of stuff I wrote down when I was going ahead. And obviously I read you some information that I jotted down, but I had wrote down very vague notes <laughs> when I was working on this build. So I'm just going to read you that because I thought it could be interesting. It says, Virgo, loves books, loves an animals, working with their mind and hands, shyness, worry, overly critical of self and others, all work and no play. Uh, and then I wrote, Sim in a cottage with large book collection, has bunnies and or llamas, and spends all their time writing or reading or working on their organic garden, lives off the land possibly, organized and no clutter. And then I wrote down green and brown. So yeah, I was trying to not have like any clutter in this space because I read multiple times that like clutter was a no-go, but that was really hard for me to do because when I associate this style, well, when I create this style of home, I associate it with very cluttered spaces. So I was trying to make it definitely a little cottage uh, on the outside, a little bit older in style. There's plenty of greens around, but it's not too overgrown. I just wanted it to look natural. And on the inside, it's more minimally decorated. It's kind of combining more modern pieces blended in with this old cottage. So <laughs> it was a challenge. 
I never would have thought, oh, let's use no clutter in here. Uh, but that's what I ended up trying to do. And uh, it was it was a very interesting challenge. By the way, uh, I know this is another new series and I have a few of them going on the channel right now. I do want to mention that one of my other series that I have going is getting a new part, I believe tomorrow. I just finished editing that. So I just got to do the voiceover and I'm very excited to share that. So uh, I'm going to be posting some more parts of all of the different series I have going on in the channel right now because I'm just feeling a little bit motivated. <laughs> so uh, very excited to share that with you. But um, yeah, this is the beginning of the Zodiac series. Like I said, I think the next one is Libra Dates of Zodiac Signs. Let's find out for sure. Yeah, the next one is Libra, which is September 23rd through October 22nd. Uh, and then we'll have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and so on. Um, I'm a Sagittarius, <laughs> and that one's going to be interesting for me to do because, like I've mentioned, I don't really relate to it at all, which is interesting. And also, I fun fact, I was supposed to start this series a few weeks ago, meaning our first one was going to be a Leo, and I built so many different versions of a Leo house, and I just couldn't get a version that I liked. Uh, so that's now going to be the last one we approach. Uh, maybe I will at some point share some screenshots of the work in progress versions I had of that. I just for some reason was really stuck with it. So I kept being like, I'll come back to this later. And then all of a sudden it wasn't Leo season anymore. It's now Virgo season. So uh, you're getting a Virgo tiny house. Anyway, I decided to add some chickens here. I had originally wrote down like bunnies or llamas. And we do have the bunny like tree stump. And then I decided chickens would make the most sense here because it is a smaller lot. And I didn't want like the big structure of the like barn you need for a llama or a cow to take away from the focal point of this build being the actual tiny house. So I did get chickens. There is a little fire pit outside as well. And then I'm just trying to add some more landscaping, some more greenery around the space, some string lights. I wanted it to be very cozy. They spend a lot of time here, uh, both indoors and outdoors on this space. So uh, just getting that, I also got a wishing well, which I think is so cute. I really like that. And uh, yeah, just playing around with the lighting and trying to figure out all of the outside. I also added some bees. I don't remember exactly why I did that. I know I read something regarding bees and Virgos. So I placed that there. So if you are a Virgo or know a lot about these things, Maybe you can tell me why I put the bees down because I, I cannot remember right now while recording this, but I remember uh, reading something regarding bees and going and grabbing the, <laughs> the beekeeping. Plus, that works nicely with gardening uh, and gameplay. Your bees can help you with your produce. And so it's nice to include that. I also really enjoyed adding Patchy here. He's just such a cutie. I love Patchy the Scarecrow. Although I have been very startled from, by him. And whenever I think of him now, I do think of when we first got first person mode in the sims and i had a sim go up to him and it was terrifying uh in first person when patchy like comes alive and goes Ooh, in your face so <laughs> uh yeah so i'm almost done with the outside here and then we should be going inside also i did change the color of the roof i had originally wanted to use like the thatched roofing that we got from cottage living but the underside of it is not painted and that was really bothering me so i decided to go ahead and use one of the ones from Island Living instead because it does paint the underside of the roof. So it's a little bit darker than I was originally thinking I was gonna go for this lot, uh, but hopefully someday they like make the underside of the Cottage Living ones actually painted as well because it looks so bizarre not being like that. Um, but yeah, just getting some more fencing, getting a wash bucket because I do have the laundry line. Although thinking about it now, I don't think I put down a laundry basket on this lot. So you might need to grab that. Uh, but I did get this mailbox from the werewolves pack. I was unsure what I wanted to put there because I kept having this like inner battle of should it be rustic or should it be modern and clean and simple? And it was just really difficult to figure out how I wanted to approach that. So uh, I did think that that was okay in the end because it didn't look too like torn up or anything. It still looked clean, but it was a nice like match to the vibe of the house, if that makes sense. So Anyway, in here, because I have steps up to the house, I decided to have a step down when you first walk in so the walls aren't too short. Uh, so I could decorate them a little bit better. And then we're replacing down a kitchen back here, which is super simple and modern. 
I did go with these white cabinets at first. I'm trying to think. I did switch the colors, but I did use this particular countertop, which is from Dream Home Decorator. Uh, but I believe I changed them to one that has like a bluish top and a brown bottom, uh, which I think looks really nice here. And of course, getting this fridge from Cottage Living. It's just so cute. I really like it. And I feel like it works in a modern space as well. So you can kind of see that I'm going for a more modern look in here but I still feel like it really fits the vibe of this particular build, if that makes sense. It was very much a challenge to do this, but I think it came out really good in the end. And I can't remember at this point if I already told you that you can download this, but if you do like this build and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Uh, but I did decide to move where the sink is so I could put the stove here and you can see it changed the colors of the countertops and it added that tile in and this space is really coming together. I think it's so cute just adding some chairs here and I thought about adding the greenery in the kitchen or in the bedroom but I ended up getting rid of it in the end. I just I felt like it wasn't the right vibe because it's kind of these two styles that are competing against each other so having to make some decisions inside and then uh, just getting some sunflowers in here, which I thought would be a nice pop of color, plus uh, kind of a nod to the fact that we have sunflowers growing outside as well. I also got some of our like fresh herbs in here. Of course, I'm thinking they're making a lot of food in here based off of what they grow outside in their own little garden and a couple of decorations, but not too many. I wanted to keep it very simple and clutter free. So we have aprons on the wall as well as a broom and I believe we'll be, yeah, we'll be grabbing this new trash can that we got from the high school years pack and I do put it over in the corner but I move it a little bit later when I find a better space and then I was going for a very neutral like cozy simple vibes in here. I didn't want anything to be too bright. I was looking up based on like earthy colors that were associated based on what I had read about and trying to just make it look comfortable in here. So I did end up going with this couch from Seasons and this rug from Cats and Dogs. And I do switch what side they're on right now though, because the other wall is bigger and I wanted to make sure to include a bookcase. This isn't a big enough house to have like a massive bookcase, but I feel like for a small home, this is still a decent amount of books. Uh, so I did do that here. And then we're just getting some more stuff in the entryway, a nice little mirror to check yourself out before you leave place to hang up your coat and uh, I should be figuring out some artwork for above the couch here shortly as well. Uh, and I decided they would have a cat um, because they like animals. So I thought that that would be a good idea. And so just grabbing a desk to put in their bedroom since I was imagining they were a writer and you need a computer for that in The Sims. So just trying to figure out a layout in here, moving everything around. For some reason, this took me a long time. You can see me being like, how does this work? How do, how do I do this? But <laughs> I figured it out in the end. I don't end up keeping that bed though, but I wanted to include some more plants in this space. And of course have a nice desk that felt like it matched the style of the house, but also felt sort of modern. So I thought that the seasons one worked quite nicely. And then I just didn't know what bed to go for for a bit, but I did end up going with this Seasons one as well, uh, which is one of my favorite beds in the game because of the way the blankets kind of drape off the sides. And of course, also that it doesn't have much of a headboard, which is really nice. Uh, I think that it makes it a more like versatile bed you can use in a lot more instances. It can look more modern or traditional. It can be for all different age ages as well. I just really like the blanket. Anyway, <laughs> that is pretty much it for this bedroom. Just getting a couple more decorations. I got some more sunflower stuff in here. So we have those paintings, some framed pieces of like magazine articles that potentially the Sim might have written. I also have an open book over on their desk, but I got rid of that in the end because it started feeling too cluttered. So I just have some closed books instead. And then just getting some more artwork out here in the living space, as well as a TV and a cork board. Uh, I just wanted to make sure your sim had the option to watch TV if they wanted to. I think I mentioned this in a recent video. I think it's easier to delete that out of the space than find a proper area for it. So I tend to add them even if uh, they're not something you would typically want. And then I also added this little book stand because I read somewhere about some sort of affiliation with elephants. And this book has like elephant book ends. And I just, I thought it was really cute. <laughs> so uh, that was the decision made there, and then I decided to get some of my favorite cutting boards in the kitchen because how could I not? 
Uh, I still th feel like they look pretty simple, not too cluttered in that space. And then we're just working on our three by one bathroom. Very simple, very small. It comes off of the ba uh, off of the bedroom space, and it's very modern and simple in here. <laughs> I had so much trouble combining these two different ideas, but I think it came out okay in the end. So definitely know. Let me know what you think. Uh, please be nice if I missed anything or completely got this wrong. It's based on research that I had done. Uh, but if you have any ideas for sites I should look at for the future, things I should make sure to include for other zodiac signs, please let me know. And of course, uh, let me know if you're excited for this series because I'm really excited about it. I'm having a lot of fun just from this first one. Uh, so I am looking forward to posting some more in the future. But with that, we are going to be heading on into screenshots. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.